Alright guys, so today we're going to be reviewing a capsule monster today. Oh boy, it's going to be fun. Now then, Dan, would you would you like to do the honors? Ooh, EX Algira, huh? Alright, let's get this review going. Yo, yo, yo guys, what is up? Arizilla here with another tour review. And today we're gonna be taking a look at one of the many, well, not many, but one of the three main capsule monsters, the Moltres 7, Agira. But if you want to get technical, this is the EX um, Agira from, from the uh, Ultra Galaxy the movie version. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, small little history, just to get it out of the way. First appeared in Ultra 7, and, um, we haven't really seen him since Ultra Galaxy, Ultra Galaxy Legends, really. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, overall, you could obviously tell a Triceratops looking kaiju, pretty cool. Um, abilities wise, he can pretty much fire and everything. I can tell you this though. The version from the Ultra from the Ultra Galaxy Legends one is way badass. Fact, how badass it fights Duraco and stuff, man. That, that's a really cool scene, man. I, I love this. If you guys know what I'm talking about, then yeah. Uh, maybe perhaps my Godzilla viewers may not know what I'm talking about, but yeah. Anyway, um, without out of the way, let's take a look at detail with this. All right, now we have a very close-up face-up. Yeah. Let's get close and personal, eh? <laughs> anyway, um, so, yeah, this is Algira. This version of Algira that I have right now is based off of the EX one. Like I said, like I mentioned before, the, uh, the one that appeared in Ultra Galaxy Legends is version of Algira, but it's like a yellow-orange type of color. And, uh, you know, that one's pretty cool, too, but at the same time, you know, kind of annoying me for this guy. He looks more, how do I say, accurate to how Akira looks. Um, but yeah, just look at the detail with this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Look at that frill on his head. You can see all the little sketches of sketches of all that sculpted right in there. It looks really nice. The face looks really nice too. It, it really did capture the likeness of Akira. See here, we have some buck tooth teeth right here. But not really, like, it's more or less like a. I, I don't know how you really call it, but I like to call it a, a thorn lip thing. Like, um, ceratopsians, ceratopsians, you know? Like, they have that weird little thing. Okay. Um, um, so, you can see there, his tongue is sculpted in there, which is really nice. You can see there. Really nice etched in sculpts here. Really, really nice, man. I, I have to admire this, man. This is just amazing. Look at the sculpted cracks there on his back. Really, really nice. And his stumpy little tail. This is just amazing. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. For paint job, you have a more or less a brownish color. Uh, I would say kind of like a brownish caramel kind of color there. And you know, have like a darkish, like vibrant reddish brown color. The nails are the same thing as the belly, as well as the toenails. And yeah, he has five toes, uh, five fingers. So yeah, it's pretty nice. I mean, that's what all the Ultra Kaijus have. They have kind of like either four fingers or five. But um, see there, you got blue for the eyes, and you got like a sort of like a whitish color kind of eye color but at the same time it's kind of dull you see we got a black horn right there and a little horn right there we also got a little horn right there too so paint wise with this figure it is um pretty good now the articulation with this little guy has he has quite a few really he has 
like, not really a lot, but not much. Rotation on the arms here. Pretty nice. Rotation on the legs. If you move out of the arms out of the way, you can get a full on rotation there. Head rotates. Honestly, though, you know, it's unnecessary to have him rotate his head, but at the same time, you know, it was a nice little touch. His tail doesn't, doesn't move. But at the same time, though, why would it? Honestly, because, I don't know, it's kind of stumpy looking, so there's not really much use for it. But, yeah, you know, five points of articulation is really nice. Um, yeah. Alrighty then, now, time for sizing. Seeing as I do have the Ultra, who is, um, his owner, basically. Um, here he is with Ultra 7. Ultra 7 there. So, um, last I checked, Agira is 45 meters, and I believe Ultra 7 is the same height. So, in a way, this is not really good, but at the same time, though, figure wise, it's um, not that bad, honestly. I don't know, I kind of ima imagined Agira as sort of like this small little monster, like sort of like the underdog in a way. Like, you know, not really getting too much love, but at the same time getting love anyway. I don't know, but this is a this is a pretty nice sizing up overall. Not bad. Yeah. Alright, next up here we have a couple of others, mainly some figures, because you know, Agira didn't really fought any other monsters. Other than Doraco and um, Rig Riga. Um, so, but unfortunately, I do not have those figures. So, and so we're, gonna, we're just going to show them off with some other monsters. Particularly the ones that he fought in Ultra Fight. Here he is with Bolton. <laughs> see here, here he is. So as you can see, Bolton really dwarfs him. Which is... Um, wow. But I don't know if you guys if you guys have seen Ultra Fight then you would probably know what this was. Like Ultra 7 was fighting off Bolton and then Agira came in for the rescue and helped him out. They pretty much beat the crap out of him. <laughs> That's pretty much what um but yeah, this is a nice little sizing. Nice little sizing. There's another monster he also fight for. He also fought in Ultra in Ultra Fight. King. Yeah, you thought you thought Nicholas was the one who fought Ella King too, huh? Nope. Um yeah, this is a nice little sizing. I think I remembered in the in the episode where like they're just like hug they're basically just hugging hugging each other and then like they fight each other a couple times and stuff like that. But um yeah, this is a nice little sizing. Now then, gonna give you guys some trivia. Here he is with um Solomon Dora. Now, in case you guys don't know, or if you do know, um, the original screenplay for the Ultra Galaxy Legends was originally going to have Agira fight Solomon Dora um, besides um, uh, Dar Darako, but they ended up switching it with Darako. So, um, yeah, this is a nice little thing here. So, you know, if you wanted to see, you know, a battle that didn't happen, then there we go. Solomon Dora and um yeah, and Ironically, this is also from the Ultra Galaxy Legends. Or mainly particularly the Ultra Galaxy Daikaiju battle. But Alright, 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 I'll size them up with some Godzilla figures now. Alright. Anyway, I'm pretty sure everyone has this. sizing there and because I haven't really brought him out a lot uh, all the time you know why, why not you know the SH monster it's Godzilla 2000 Every single capsule monster like that, only 
only like at least three of them, then absolutely, I totally recommend this. Um, unfortunately though, uh, price-wise on eBay and or Mandarake are pretty scarce. Uh, Mandarake, Zen Market, they have, I believe they have, I, I checked them once. I don't think they're there. eBay wise, they have them, but they are way overpriced. Because in case you guys, don't know, in case you haven't, you guys haven't noticed, he is a pretty small figure, so I don't, I don't, I don't think you guys would be wanting to pay almost 50 bucks for a little five-inch figure unless you want the tag and the card. Um, by the way, mine didn't came with one. By the way, um, but yeah, I was lucky enough to buy this thing for only like 12 bucks. <laughs> Without the card and stuff like that, but um, overall, guys, I, I I totally recommend this figure. This is a really really great one. If you're trying to get all the caps and monsters like I am, you totally pick this one up. Or if you want to go with the cheaper route, get the the yellow orange Akira. But yeah. Overall, guys, not really much else to say. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of capsule reviews. Um, pretty much, I'll be reviewing some of the capsule monsters and stuff like that. But um, yeah, overall, hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Sign off. <laughs>